Hey, I'm Mike. The channel's Remotorcycle, and I'm going to explain why this Honda Trail 90 is idling perfectly right now. So, here we are with Patina. Patina, the Honda Trail 90. I got this bike completely back together and, and all good to go. Um, and, and I started it. And remember in the video, it was, it was running, it was running kind of, it had a miss. So a miss is like running, running, miss, running, running, miss. It's like out of gas. You know, I thought it was due to having really low fuel. I like barely put any fuel in it. Well, no, no, I put lots of fuel in it and it still had the miss. And the weird thing is, is the miss kept getting like worse and worse and it quickly. Um, I brought the bike outside. I rode it to the driveway and it stalled. I got it running again. I rode it to the bottom of the driveway and it stalled. I couldn't get it started. I finally kicked and kicked and I got it running. Halfway up the driveway, stalled again, and then it didn't run. I couldn't get it started. Uh, we got it in the barn. We got looking at it, and um, I suspected somehow I got some bad gas in it or something was wrong. And so the process started, right? The process, like, okay, what's going on? So you check all the basics. It seemed like I had good spark because I was testing the spark, with, and it seemed like it was sparking, you know, maybe intermittent spark, but spark. So I went through the carburetor, sure, found some junk in there, but it was before the screen, so it wasn't like an issue. It was still full of clean gas. Um, I got all the gas out of it, and I got new fresh gas. I didn't see anything contaminated in the old gas. It's like, I'm just trying to eliminate everything, right? Check the valve lash. It's all good. Um, you know, what else? Check the points. This says points and condenser, which is its ignition system. You know, clean the points, gap the points, make sure everything's cool. Like, these are like, like, like even with not everything perfect, it would run. It ran last fall. It ran great. And I didn't touch the points or the valve lash or the, you know. So we were talking, everything checked. Everything checked. I still couldn't get it to run. We kept checking spark. And um, at some point it just lost spark completely. Well, here's why. This, uh, this is the coil that I, I took out last fall. This is the original Honda coil from 1971. And you can see here, let me show you here. Um, you can see this lead wire, the positive wire, this is like a new fitting. This is where mice ate the wire right here. So I had to add this fitting on and then I added an extension to it. Um, this was, this thing was like, well, you know, this end had been shortened. I was like, I need a new coil. I just need a new coil. So I ordered this coil and this had another wire on it that already broke off or whatever. But what do you notice about these two coils? This one being from Japan from 50 years ago, and this one being from China from 50 days ago. Um, you notice this part up front here? That's called a condenser. It's really a capacitor, and it enhances the spark a ton. It changes the, the way the coil charges up. Um, I thought, well, oh, this one must have it built in somewhere or something like that. It's, it must be in there somehow. I don't know. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have one. It just doesn't have one. Well, that makes a difference. It makes a big difference. And it wasn't sparking right. So my inexpensive coil that I had high hopes for isn't going to work. So I ordered 
a Honda factory coil, which is new old stock, NOS, from who knows what year, probably the 80s or something. Uh, they made these engines into the 90s. Anyway, I, I ordered a new coil, Honda one, got it all hooked up, you know, everything good. And I kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked. Now, I had lots of hot spark. I tested that. I was, oh, yeah, good, good, good. Coil's working good, good, good. This thing would still not start. Of course, I had the carburetor all apart to clean it. I, you know, I went through the whole carburetor, and the settings were, you know, to, to start out your, your factory settings as your baseline, I couldn't remember where they were and all that. I'll show you what we've got here on this carburetor. Um... You've got um, an idle screw here, so that's your idle speed screw. But then down in, inside here, you've got an idle air screw. So what's the difference? Well, ugh, the difference is the, the idle speed is one thing that cracks the, the, the carburetor for you, changes your bottom idle speed. But idle air adjusts the mixture at idle and not every carburetor has that it's a really handy tool though because it allows you to tune the fuel air mixture at idle so you get that perfect crisp idle and then you can slow the idle way down to a nice steady purr so that's what you do to set this thing you get it running which was the per first problem i could not get the thing to run you have to get the settings close enough so that it will run then you had dialed them in with it running. I could not get this thing started. I would have videoed it all, but who wants to watch like three days of kicking with different, you know, frustrations that nobody wants to watch that. So I didn't film all that, but I feel, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm filming this now. <laughs> I think I got it. I finally got the thing to run and run pretty fast. And that's like, okay, good. It's, uh, you know, it's running, you know, uh, yeah, good, good, good. So then you hurry over here with the screwdriver and Slow the idle down to like a medium idle. You don't want to go slow because it'll stall because the fuel air, air mixture is not right. You slow the idle down to like a medium idle and then start playing with the idle screw, the air screw. And so when you start to change the screw, if you change it the wrong direction, the, the idle will slow down. If you change it the right direction, the, uh, the correct direction, the idle will speed up. So you do like a, a half a turn, idle speeds up. Do a half a turn more. Idle speeds up more. Do another half a turn. Idle slows down. Oh, so now you've passed the, the sweet spot. So you go backwards, it speeds up again. So you dial that air screw until you get the fastest possible idle. Now you know your fuel air mixture is perfect. So now you can take the other screw, the actual speed screw, and slow it down. And it goes way down into a nice, comfortable idle. And once you get that, that satisfying, slow, calm, perfectly, you know, the exhaust doesn't have any smell to it or anything like that. It's the perfect fuel air mixture, all the fuel's burning, nice warm engine, air cleaner on, like all the, all the elements of it that will make the mixture correct. Then you get that nice slow idle and it's so satisfying. So I think what I'm gonna do is just uh, set you up here and I'm just gonna start it up and uh, you know, it's the fruits of the labor. I'm just gonna start start it up and uh, let you hear the idle the way it's supposed to be. So it's still pretty warm. I'm not gonna choke it. I'm just gonna kick it. Maybe two kicks. Maybe three. I don't know. This thing cools off quick. You think a little choke? Yeah, a little choke. <laughs> oh, less choke. I don't remember how warm it is, you know. Come on. See, it's so easy to start now. <laughs> Here we go. We, we, we got a root for it. You're not, you're not even trying. Choke. 
There we go. No choke. Okay. It's hard to know. Woo, sorry. It's hard to know if if you need to choke it when you just ran it. And I'm not going to edit this video. This is just real world. I had to kick it all those times to start it. That's a carburetor for you. It's got to be, you know, like the choke, you know, depending on if it's cold or hot. I don't know if it's cold or hot, whatever. That's real world. You might have to kick a few times. But the point is, is listen to it idle now. Like now there's no choke on. And if you rev it, when you rev it, it should just pick up without stumbling, right? So it shouldn't stumble. See how it just picks right up? That's how you know that that mixture is perfect. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Oh, come on, Patina. Can you tell it's 50 years old? I can. She shows her age. Everything's original. I might have the idle a little slow. Kind of like a point of pride is slowing the idle down to like the perfectly slow. Like how slow can you make it and still have it run? So let's turn it up. Turn it up a, a half a turn here. Or a quarter turn. There. See, there we, okay, okay. You know, we gotta settle for that kind of idle, but you know, that's how it's supposed to run. From idle, no stuttering, no hesitation, no stalling if you set the idle right. <laughs> it's kind of a work in progress, you know? It's like, it's 72 degrees right now. I don't know what the humidity is, but the carburetor's set up for right now. If it's colder out, well, it's gonna change it a little bit. It's not adapting to the environment all the time. It is what it is. So you gotta be a little bit uh, you know, mechanical to, to figure it out. But anyway, that's how it's supposed to sound. That's what it sounds like with a factory coil in it. There's no stuttering, no misses. It's not a fuel issue. You got plenty of gas, plenty of spark, plenty of air. And it's ready for the road. Perfect. So with that, sun's going down. I'm going back inside. I'm doing something. I wish you a good night. Thanks for watching.